Hello, as many of you all know, my name is Jessica. I'm going to be guiding you through a stretch specifically geared towards your hip flexors. Now, if you have a lot of time sitting down during the day, what happens are your hip flexors start to lock out. And so when that happens, they shorten and shrink, but which will cause a little tilt in your pelvis, which in turn sometimes hurts your low back, can affect the rest of your body. So in order to help flush all that gush out of your hip flexors, you need to make sure to strengthen them, but also stretch, which we're gonna focus on today. So this will be around a 20 to 25 minute stretch, focusing on opening up those hip flexors so you're able to utilize those glutes a little bit more instead of taking all that glute tension and putting it in towards the hip flexors. So we're gonna start today on your back. So Supta Baddha Konasana. What that means is bringing the soles of your feet together, your knees out wide, laying down and take a hand to your heart, a hand to your belly. And just right here, feeling your belly rise and fall. Take deep inhale in through your nose. And then open mouth, release that breath out. Two more, just like that. Fill up your belly button, feel your breath expand your hand. And then open mouth, release that breath out. Last one, fill up that belly button. And then open mouth, release that breath out. And then bring your knees into your chest. First little stretch we're gonna do is called happy baby. So what this is, you're gonna plant your feet so they're faced towards the ceiling, grabbing the outer edges of your feet. Drag your knees in towards your armpits and we're just gonna rock side to side. Maybe extend one leg and the other. Opening up those hips, your hip flexors, your groin. And then maybe even lifting your tailbone off your mat, get into your low back, massage it out. And the more you rock side to side, the better it feels. Maybe extend one leg in the boat, rock side to side. You have four deep breaths here. So bring your knees in towards your chest. I'm going to cactus your arms, just getting into your spine. Walk your hips over to the right side of your mat, and then send your legs over to the left. Gaze over at your right armpit, feel your lumbar spine release some tension. Also feel your outer hips, your abs start to lengthen out. So this isn't really getting into your hip flexors, but just a nice stretch to add in in general. Two deep breaths. One more inhale in. And then exhale, slowly bring your knees in back towards center. And then switch so your knees fall over to the right, gaze over at your left elbow. Two more deep breaths here. One inhale in. And then exhale, slowly bring it back up right here. Now take your hands behind your thighs, start to slowly rock up and down, massaging out your tailbone. And then on your last one, come all the way up. We're gonna swing our legs back behind us and go into saddle pose. So for this one option, I have a couple pillows, blocks underneath me. Option to place a pillow or a block underneath your sacrum. So if you need it, you can. You can place both feet either underneath your sacrum or beside you, and you can go one at a time. I have an ankle injury, so I'm only gonna be doing one side with you today. So if you don't need the pillow, you can remove it. 
but you're bringing your knee out in front of you, your foot either underneath your glute or out beside you. And now slowly, slowly, just leaning back, maybe coming to your forearms. If you want a little bit more, you can come all the way down to your back. Feel that through your hip flexor open. Feel free to do it to both sides at the same time. While we switch, you're just gonna hold on. Now, if you want an even more intense stretch, you can grab a block if you have one, place it underneath your back. It will also open up your chest. So laying all the way back down, letting your forehead come down, the palms open up. I'm gonna take five more deep breaths on the right, and then switch it out. your palms if you have both legs out behind you just stay and you're gonna switch out your legs I'm not gonna go down with you for this one because I have an ankle injury but you're gonna take your leg back behind you I'll do the same one one more time just so I can guide you through again if you want to place a block underneath your sacrum you can place any little pillow or you can place it behind your back and slowly come all the way back down saddle pose getting into your hip flexor and your outer hip on the opposite side. Take five deep breaths here. your palms and then come all the way back up slowly release your legs maybe bring them out in front of you and take a little rebound so windshield wiper your legs side to side open up those hips now our next pose is going to be butterfly pose so bringing the soles of your feet together we're now externally rotating those hips your knees out wide now sit up really tall on your tailbone, deep inhale in, and then exhale, start to walk your hands forward again, using props, y'all. We don't wanna hold our muscles, they shouldn't be engaged while we're doing this. We should allow them to relax, to get that connective tissue to release. So you can place a block, maybe a pillow. You could bring your forehead all the way down, walk your hands out in front of you. And then you can go to your level, so if that's a little too much, or if you have the flexibility, coming all the way down. Feeling that through your groin, your hips, your hip flexors. Five deep breaths total here. One more inhale in, and then exhale, slowly rise up. Bring your knees together, lean back, windshield wiper those legs. Beautiful, y'all. The next pose we're gonna do is called frog pose. So if you have a blanket, grab one for this. You're gonna roll your mat up. So all the way up, you're gonna be putting one of your legs and be on the mat. Then you can grab either a blanket if you want to use a pillow, and you're gonna place your other knee onto that. So we're gonna start putting them together and coming to a tabletop pose. So knees out, toes out. Now slowly, slowly start walking your hands out in front of you and sink your hips down. Yeah, this is an uncomfortable pose, so option if you want to bring a block, anything you need. 
to bring the earth to you, go for it, but no holy intention. We're really getting in deep into those hip flexors here. Option to come all the way down. So toes out and slowly sliding your legs out, trying to drop your hips towards the ground. Now this pose can get really, really uncomfortable. So feel free to just stay up on your forearms. You have five deep breaths here. So breathe through the discomfort. So there's a difference between pain and discomfort. Discomfort coming to a 70% level, that's okay. But if you feel sharp pain, I want you to come back up and hold it there. All right, so now slowly, slowly walk your hands back towards your feet. Drive your knees in together. Release that blanket out to the side and then unroll that back. Now coming into a tabletop pose, just as a little rebound, I want you to just take big giant hip circles. Just feeling all those nicks you can make in your mind, those cracks. The more dramatic you make those circles, the better it feels. So just getting it all out of the, your system. Go one direction and the other. Three deep breaths right here. One, inhale in. And then exhale right here, tuck your toes and meet into a downward facing dog. So sending your hips up and back. So start to pedal out your dog, bend deep into one knee and the other. And then extend your right leg high to the sky, open up your hips, bend your knees, stack your hips. This is called scorpion dog. So sink your left heel down, open up that hip. I want you to just take giant circles with your right knee. So going to the right, to the left, maybe roll out that ankle. Remember our main intention for today is opening up those hip flexors. But of course we're gonna get a whole bunch of more stuff as well. Now inhale, sweep your right leg high. And then exhale, slowly bring your right foot on the outside of your right hand. You all right here. So our next pose is called lizard's pose. So what you're doing, I'm gonna actually come to this side so you guys can see. My hands are inside my right foot. My entire right foot is down on the ground. So now drop your back knee and start to untuck your back toe. Already you'll feel it in your hip flexors. Now if you feel it a lot right here, just stay. No ego amigo, y'all. Option, if you want a little bit more, come down to your forearms. If you don't quite want to go down to your forearms, but still want to go past your palms, you can take blocks. I used reams of paper for a while, but anything to get your body to just relax, but also embrace discomfort. Right here, dial your right hip back, your left hip forward, really sink your hips down. Just make sure that front knee still stacked over your ankle. With every inhale, lengthen through your spine. And with every exhale, try to sink your hips closer towards your mat. Five more breaths right here. Palms. 
and then roll onto the pinky edge of your right foot. So notice my big toe is up towards the sky. And now I'm gonna come over this way just so you guys can see a little bit better. Same way. Sink your left hip forward, take your right hand to your right thigh, and just start to open it up like a boat gaze over your right hand, rather your right elbow. And dial your left shoulder forward, your right shoulder behind you. So getting into your hip flexor on the left, your groin and your TFL, little muscle between your IT band and your glute on your right. Three deep breaths right here. One, inhale in. And then exhale, slowly roll back onto the ball of your foot. And then just take a few bounces forward and back, opening up that hamstring, feeling that hip flexor. We have tight hip flexors. It can cause that low back pain. It can cause injuries that we definitely don't want. And it can block that ability to fully extend your hip. All right, plant your hands. Tuck your back toe, engage your back leg, and then inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale as you bring your right shin parallel to the top of your mat. We're going to do half pigeon now on the right. So now your shin's parallel to your mat. Now if your butt can't come all the way down without your left hip flexor moving up, I want you to grab a block or anything you can use as a block, paper, and place it underneath your right sacrum. So now sit up straight until you should have the same pressure between both hips. Really feeling it through those hip flexors and you're growing your outer hip on the right. Now deep inhale in, and then exhale slowly lower down until you get to an uncomfortable feeling. Not painful, but uncomfortable. Learning to breathe through this discomfort right here. Come all the way down. Option to bring a block or a pillow underneath your forearms. Sweep your right leg high, three-legged dog. Maybe bend your knees, stack your hip, take giant circles, little rebounds in that scorpion dog. And then when you're ready, come back to downward facing dog. Right here, just feel the difference between your right and your left side already. Feel the difference in your hip flexor, where we store a lot of tension, a lot of drum. Now we'll do the same thing on the left side. So inhale, lift your left leg high. Bend your knees, stack your hip, take those giant circles to the left and the right. So roll out your ankle, open up those hips, but sink your right heel down to your mat. Deep inhale in. Exhale, slowly step your left foot on the outside of your left hand. We're going into that lizard's lunge. So again, drop your back knee and tuck your back toe. Notice my entire left foot is on the ground, knee stacked over ankle. Now option to stay here on your palms. Option to bring a block underneath your palms or underneath your forearms. Option to come all the way down, but still staying on the ball of your left foot. I'm gonna come around this way, just so you can see it from this perspective. So glue that foot down and then dial your right hip forward this time, your left hip back. And then sink your hips forward and down, closer to your mat.
utilizing your breath in uncomfortable situations is a tool that we acquire. It's not a tool that we're built with, not what we're born with. So starting right here with using our breath to guide us through these uncomfortable poses. Three deep breaths here. Two more breaths. One more inhaling. And then exhale, slowly rise up to your palms. Maybe shift forward and back, just opening up that hip flexor, that hamstring, just rebounding it real quick. And then slowly start to roll onto the pinky edge of your left foot. Take your left hand to your left thigh and open it as you straighten your left arm, gaze over your top shoulder. And pivot your right shoulder forward. Three deep breaths right here. Again, getting to your TFL. In between your IT band and your glute, your groin on the left, your hip flexor on the right. One, inhaling, and then exhale slowly, slowly, start to again shift forward and back, opening up that hip, and then when you're ready, tuck your back toe, take your hand inside your left foot once again, and then inhale three-legged dog, sweep your right leg back up high, feel your hip flexor open up on the right. And then exhale, set up for half pigeon on the left. So again, bringing your left shin to the top of your mat. Maybe placing a block underneath your sacrum. Inhale as you sit up straight and tall. Exhale as you come forward right here. Option to place that block underneath your left sacrum if you feel it's going up or you feel like you're going off to one side and your right hip is not down. Option to place a block or anything underneath your arms, but really allowing your breath to guide you through the uncomfortable feeling. Five deep breaths. Two more breaths. One more inhaling. Exhale, slowly rise your palms up. Tuck your back toe, engage your back leg. Inhale, three-legged dog. And then exhale, bring your left foot to meet your right. Feel the difference now in those hip flexors. Should be definitely stretched out by now. Now come down to your knees, just take a seat. You're all done for today. That was my 25 minute hip flexor stretch, really opening it up. A lot of us store a lot of tension, a lot of our trauma, a lot of that emotion maybe from 2020, the craziness that it's brought. And let's build resiliency for the last of the 2020. Let go of those things you can't control, but we can control letting that tension go by opening up our hip flexors and doing something that just makes ourselves a better stronger person than before. Again, I'm Jessica. Let me know if you guys have any questions or anything you guys want to work on. Have